Department of Mechanical Engineering. I am Dr. Amit Awas and this is a brief description about my qualification. So, continuing the uh, uh, manufacturing science series, we are going to see the shaping machine in the today's session. So, previously we have gone through the lath, drilling, uh, milling and uh, grinding operations. So, this, this one in this lecture we will see the shaping operation and planing operation also and we will compare both of them and then also the, what is the difference means a difference is uh, in between the this is the shaping what is the difference basic difference between shaping machine and the planing machine or approximately both are uh, you know having similar type of uh, behavior and a similar type of mechanism were used but uh, there is with slightly change and what is that change we need to uh, see uh, that okay uh, so let's uh, go into the session so what is shaping machine this one is the shaping machine is um, is a machine in which we used to which is used to uh, what designed to produce desired shape of the surface which may kept horizontal, vertical or flat. In all the, these three manners we can put the workpiece and the workpiece will be then uh, you know uh, get a particular shape on the basis of uh, you know our requirement and we will put the feed to that one and then we will get the final shape. Next point is a shaping tool is used to cut in a curves, different angles and many other shapes. So this can be, uh, uh, you know, generate these things. Next point is a disc is responsible for the tool rotation which results in forward and backward movement, okay. So, the disc is responsible for tool rotation. Next is how it will look like. So, we need to see these things. This is a vice, this is swivel waist, and here is the elevator screw. Okay, this is called, this is feed disc. This is basically frame of the shipping tool. This is driving pulley, and here is the base. So everything is mounted on this way, this base and then elevator is there. Vice is there on which we will fix the workpiece or job. Here is the tool slide. This is the tool slide. And this is basically the tool, this one. Okay. So here is the tool. And this is apron claiming bolt. This is stroke position, positioning wheel. Here it is. This is a ram locking handle and this is the ram. The main function of ram is to reciprocate in this case. Okay. So the, uh, the I am showing here this tool will basically move like this one. This will have the reciprocating type of motion. Once the job will be fixed in the vise, the basic function of the tool is to you know, uh, reciprocate like this as I am showing you here. And the depth of cut will be provided in this direction, okay. So, uh, it will, um, you know, once it will get produced th thoroughly, the final shape will be achieved, okay. So, these are things you can see. And later on, we will see there is some difference also, but we will see one by one. Now, the, the mechanism, you know, quick return motion mechanism will, will are being used, uh, you know, basically, this is the tool, this is the tool, and uh, here, this is the initial position of the tool, this is final position of the tool, this is stroke. If cutting is stroke, this, this is stroke, large arc distance, basically large area. Means why we need a quick return mechanism. This is also a big question. Because listen carefully that if we are using 
a tool you know during cutting it is okay means it will be involved in the cutting action then it is just uh, you know justified that there is a movement of the tool and uh, if it will take the time then that will be utilized to remove the uh, you know work uh, excessive material from the work piece in 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 the you know shape of a chip okay but during return stroke if it will take the same time as taken during the uh, cutting stroke so that is completely wastage of time and that is called as idle stroke so we need to save that time so that the overall productivity of the system will be improved so these have, uh, so to you know utilize that you know to reduce the uh, what returning time of the tool we use a quick return motion mechanism that's why the name is what quick return means it will return back to its original uh, initial position very quickly that's why it is called as quick return motion mechanism means the motion will be quick return this is quick return motion basically this is what uh, inversion of single slider crank mechanism okay so this is basically this is single slider single slider and this is crank and here this is mechanism single sliding crank mechanism when we will fix the connecting rod when we will fix the connect, what the uh, connecting rod then we will get these type if uh, means crank we will fix then whitworth whitworth quick return motion mechanism we will get but if we will fix the connecting rod then we will get the crank and slotted lever quick return motion mechanism these are widely used these days so both although both are the quick return motion mechanism means if we we'll fix the crank in four bar mechanism i am telling you means uh, what single slider crank mechanism i am talking about so if we we'll fix the uh, crank then we will get the whitworth quick return motion mechanism but it will fix the connecting rod then we will get the crank and slotted lever quick return motion mechanism nowadays we are using the crank and slotted lever quick return motion mechanism that i have shown you here so this is the beauty of this uh, shaping process so using this mechanism we will reduce the returning time and we will save the idle time to increase the overall productivity of the machine so next is saving machine operation what 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 type of operation the first point is the a saper machine holds the single point cutting tool in ram work piece is fixed over the table means single point cutting tool we will use we already have seen the single point cutting application of single point cutting tool in the uh, what lathe machine let's must in turning operation this was a single point cutting tool is being used in shaping we also will also use single point cutting tool okay so uh, the uh, work piece will be fixed and the reciprocation of the um, tool will be there so this is the, you need to remember these things but in case of if uh, i'll talk about the planer the tool will be fixed but uh, what work piece will rotate this is basic difference also you are just after this one uh, the ram second point is the ram holding the tool reciprocate to reciprocate the work piece and the metal is cut during the forward stroke called as cutting stroke no metal cut during its return stroke it is also called as idle stroke as i told you that why we are using the quick return motion mechanism next point this is important point the work piece mount on a rigid box shaped table in front of the machine so this is first point the second point is 
one second. You can see here the first uh, point is the, the second point. Sorry, the height of the table can be adjusted to suit the workpiece, and the table can uh, traverse slide uh, sideways underneath the reciprocating tool, which is mounted on the uh, ramp. So this is adjustable. You know, height of the table. We can adjust it according to our requirement or convenience. Okay. Uh, next point is this is a table or machine. The table motion may be controlled manually. However, it is usually advanced by an automatic feed mechanism acting on the feed screw. Next point is the rim slides back and forth above the workpiece. The, at the front end of the arm is vertical tool slide that may be adjusted to either side of the vertical plane along the stroke axis. So these things already I have discussed but I have written you to, so that you can make your own notes for the revision also. These two slides hose the clapper box and tool post from the tool can be positioned to cut straight flat on the top surface of the workpiece. Next point is tool slides permits feeding the tool downward to deepen the cut. Okay, so apart from the reciprocation motion, we can feed provide external feed in downward direction so that you know deepen cut we can uh, draw it you or we can get the deepen tool next point is this flexibility coupled with the use of specialized cutter and a tool holder enable the operator to cut internal as well as external gear thread so we can use uh, the shaping operation to get the external uh, gear or internal gear so this is basically important and the last point is the rim is adjustable for stroke due to the geometry of the linkage it moves faster on the return non-cutting stroke than the forward stroke the this return stroke is governed by the quick return mechanism as i just you know discussed you earlier that why we are using the quick return motion mechanism or quick return mechanism okay so next type of shaping machines are there based on uh, uh, driving mechanism crank type shaper gear type shaper hydraulic type shaper these are basically the different types of shaper we use based on ram travel horizontal shaper or vertical shaper there are two basically types Based on the table design, standard shaper or universal shaper. Next, based on cutting stroke, one is called post type and another is called draw type shaper. Difference between a shaper and planer means I can take it, you know, uh, uh, separately uh, the uh, you know planing operation. But since both the operation is almost similar with slight differences, so if you see the difference, definitely everything will be crystal clear because approximately all the things are uh, same. Okay, so let's see one by one at first. It is comparatively light uh, uh, duty. I am talking about uh, what a shaping operation or shaping machine. It is comparatively light duty machine, shaping machine. Next point is the tool is held on the ramp, which is reciprocate the works mounted on the table table stationary means workpiece will uh, uh, be at rest position while the reciprocation of the tool is there it requires less flow area flowed area because it is comparatively light duty machine because it is having lesser size in terms of size it is having less uh, you know uh, 
means light duty machine that's why it is called because of its lighter in weight also but uh, what about the uh, uh, shaping machine it, that will be you know heavy duty machine that is called it. okay so next point is the work may be clamped directly on the table or held in a vise or chuck that that will depend okay now in in the in the plating operation it is a heavy duty machine as i told you the work mounted on the table reciprocate here work piece will reciprocate this is basic difference while the tool is rigidly held in the milling or oh, sorry machine frame it requires more flow air flowed area because of it is a heavy duty machine definitely more weight it it will have so it will uh, uh, it requires more flow area next is the work may be clamped directly on the table by using a fixing a fixture or clamping device and if that uh, you know uh, the uh, table will reciprocate so the tool will be fixed table will reciprocate and if table will reciprocate since we have mounted our work see work piece on that table so work piece will also reciprocate tape uh, tool will be fixed so next point again the very heavy cuts or coarse feet cannot be employed in the shipping operation since it is having lighter weight heavier cuts and coarse feet can be employed cutting takes place by moving the cutting tool over the job setting of the work is easy and quick since lighter uh, light, the work piece will be having you know, light 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 in weight that's why i'm telling you next is used of machining relatively small surfaces next index feed is given to the work during the idle ideal stroke okay this should be ideal stroke light is small and has less cost of shaping machine but here just opposite to this one the planing operation heavy cuts coarse uh, uh, cuts and coarse feed can be em uh, employed next is several tools can be uh, what this i'm just shifting this towards so the second point is several tools can be mounted and employed simultaneously usually fas uh, this facilitating a faster rate of production next is cutting takes place by reciprocating the work under the tool next point work setting requires much skill and takes a long time since a heavy uh, work piece will be there so it requires you know much skill level so that uh, proper setting will be there okay so next point is a used for machining machining large flat surface next index feed is given to the uh, tool during the idle stroke of the work table okay heavier large and costlier means it will uh, having you know it will, it is heavier than shaping machine larger than shaping machine that that's why it is costlier also how the both the machines will look like you can see here the difference directly uh, th this is basically here the i am telling you directly the basic difference this this is this will rossi uh, reciprocate and here the work piece will be fixed but what about here here the tool will be fixed this work table will rotate like this you know this will rotate like this the reciprocate sorry reciprocate like this this is tool head basically the tool head is here this is column and this is cross uh, cross rail to for the movement of the work piece okay here this is a tool head is here this is feed hand wheels this is driving pulley cross feed elevating screw so this is basically the difference 
between sleeping and bleeding operation i hope you'll get clear that how it will work and one more point i would like to um, you know um, add we here that in sleeping machine the quick return mechanism will be attached to the tool because tool need to you know return very quickly that's why we'll attach it using the what the tool but here we will attach the quick return mechanism with the work table so that in the return stroke it will return fastly so these are some points that i have discussed with you thank you for watching this video thank you on the behalf of the sales group i am dr mitha was thank you